Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Early this morning at 1226 a.m. local time along the uh, San Andreas Fault Zone near San Juan Batista, there was a magnitude 2.9 that 22 people reported feeling. We all know the San Andreas Fault Zone, that part of the uh, California area, is moving north. Here we can see we got uh, movement going uh, north along the fault zone, a little bit of spreading. Felt reports as far north as San Leandro, San Francisco, and down south. Let's see what we got here. I can't read what it says. We got Pacific Grove over here. But using Google Earth, here's the felt report. Here's the San Andreas Fault Zone. And we'll bring it out, showing you the aerial arrows the direction that everything is moving. Uh, we got Salinas over here. And on the opposite side is the Calaveras Fault Zone, but this was closer to the uh, San Andreas Fault Zone. This earthquake was uh, 2.8 miles in depth or 4.5 kilometers in depth, according to USGS. And it looks like tension was applied going west. Well, that's the direction of most of the report on felt reports. Uh, San Francisco had one response. We got two from here, one from there, one from there, one there, only one there. Uh, San Leandro had one. And we got two from over here. It looks like Luis Banas, um, but over here we got Santa Cruz. There's the star right there. Going back to Google Earth, here we got the area of the 2.9, and over here we got Ridge Mark. That would be close to the Calaveras Fault Zone. Just before this magnitude 2.9, there was a 1.4 earthquake by Ridge Mark, California. Um, that was on the 11th. There was also a 1.1 and a 1.6. And I'm going to show you the location using Google Earth. A little deceiving when they name Ridge Mark as uh, close to location because this is where the earthquakes occurred. Here we got the San Andreas Fault Zone. And Ridge Crest, or Ridge Mark, excuse me, Ridge Mark is actually along the uh, Calaveras Fault Zone. Yeah, I don't know why they would list it as close to those areas when, yeah, yeah, it wasn't. So, were you sleeping during this earthquake? It is a small earthquake. Did it wake you up? Quite possibly it didn't. Uh, most people don't feel them unless they're a 2.5 or greater, and this was a 2.9. And we do know that USGS loves to downgrade the earthquake, so maybe it was closer to a magnitude 3.0. Did you have any damage, anything fall off the shelves? How was your animals acting prior and after this earthquake? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.